In the last century or so, uh, they discovered writings from Maimonides, from the Rambam, from Maimonides. And he, and one of his works, he had made a sketch of the menorah, the seven-branch menorah that was in the Holy Temple in Jerusalem. So he had made a, a sketch of how it looks. And one of, the, one of the ornaments, one of the things on the menorah was these cups. Part of the design, they had these cups, about 22 cups on this menorah. But what's fascinating about his sketches that he draws the cups upside down. The cups are upside down. So the Rebbe finds a profound lesson with that because a, f a cup has two functions. A cup either holds something or it pours. And the point of the Holy Temple wasn't to contain, it wasn't to hold, it was to pour. That the light of the Temple, the light of the, the holiness, the godliness of the Holy Temple in Jerusalem, that light should pour out to the entire world. And that's why the cups are downward, because the menorah, the light, is meant to pour out. We're also a temple. We have a temple inside of us. And what are we? What's our cup? What's our vessel? Are we just a container? Do we just, you know, gather in stuff and take in everything? Or do we pour? Does some of our light, our energy, our godliness, our holiness, do we share it with others? Are we a light to others as well?